Let's begin our Pentecost project. This can be either a headband or a wristband. Find yourself a white piece of paper and a red marker. We're going to start by making the band part of the project. Turn your paper on its side and then we're going to color like we have been, um, line by line by line so that we make a nice big space that's all one color. We'll color that in. Then you're going to find your scissors and we're going to cut that out of our paper. So we'll cut a nice straight line all the way across. And then we're going to make this into two pieces of paper. So we're going to fold it over the long way. Once that's folded over and creased, we're going to cut along the fold. And that gives us two pieces that are the same size. There we go. Once we've cut those, we're going to glue them together. So find your glue stick and put a small piece of glue right at the end of one of them and just glue the other one right to it. You can take your marker if you'd like and fill in those little bits of white that are left once you've glued them together. All right, we've finished our band. We're going to set that aside and move on to the flame. Let's start with, uh, maybe let's start with the orange color. All right, so find your orange marker. There we go. And we're going to draw the largest of the three flames. Looks a lot like a teardrop. We put a little curve at the top and then another one on the left side and they meet down at the bottom there. We'll make sure that's nice and round at the bottom and then we're going to color that in. go. We'll color it in. Now find your black marker. We're going to outline our flame. This gives it a really nice effect when we overlap all three pieces of the flame together. Once we've finished outlining the first of the three parts to the flame, we're going to move on to drawing the second flame. Each one is going to get a little bit smaller, so we'll find our red marker. We're going to draw the same shape, but a mirror image of it. So I'll show you what I mean by that. We have the long curve on the right this time, and then on the left we make sort of the teardrop shape. And I'm going to make this a little bit of a wider um, teardrop shape, and then we can color that in. Once you've colored it in red, find your black marker once again so that we can outline it, just like we did with the orange one. Great, now we'll grab our yellow marker and we'll finish off our flame by drawing the smallest of the three. And this one's gonna face the same direction as the orange one did. Make a nice small one and then we'll fill that in, color that in. And we'll do the same thing with the black marker. Once again, we will trace around it. There we go. Now that we have outlined all three, we're going to cut them out. Like we usually do when we're cutting, I like to cut it into smaller pieces before we go around the edges. So we'll cut them all the way around the edges. There we go. All right, we have our three flames cut out. Now we just have to paste them on top of each other. Find your glue again. We're gonna cover the back of the red one with our glue all over. Once this is full of our glue, we'll line up the bottom edges together. There you go. You see, straighten that out at the bottom. You see how nice that looks with the black outline? And then we'll grab the yellow one. This will be the last piece. We'll put the same amount glue all over it and then line it up on the bottom with the red one and the orange one. There we go. Now we have a flame. Looking good. We'll put the cap on that glue and then we're going to, the last step is to glue the flame onto the band that we made at the beginning. We're going to glue it right where the two pieces of that band meet. So we'll put a bunch of glue right there. Spread it out so there aren't any chunks. Put our cap on and then we'll stick our flame right on there. Look at that. There we go. So now we have our Pentecost project. Get rid of little pieces of glue here and there. There you go. 
Now this, remember we said this can be a headband or a wristband. If you want it to be a headband, you're just gonna fold it around and seal it on the back with glue. And if it's too small, you can do the same thing with paper making red strips and add another strip on there. If you'd like to make it into a wristband, this is all you need to do. Measure it out so that you know how big it needs to be for you and then see if you can find a piece of tape so that you can um, tape it around your wrist. There we go. Hope you enjoyed our Pentecost art.